So in this video, we're going to talk about the WP head action hook. Okay. So if you go to Codex and check for the WP head hook, you can see it's defined by the do action hook in general template.php. And what does it do? It prints the scripts or data in the head tag on the front end. So on your site, if you go inspect element, you can see that this is our head tag. Okay, this is our head tag. So inside of this, it allows us to uh, insert our script, our codes in the head tag of the front end. So this is our head tag. Inside of this, it allows us to, uh, inside of this uh, tag, it allows us to insert the script or data by our custom functions. Okay, uh, also one thing important to note is that um, this hook is basically defined under WP head function. So let's go to general template.php which is into WP includes folder. And if we go ahead and check, it is defined under WP head function. Okay, so do action, WP head hook is defined under WP head function. Okay, so the important thing to note is that always have WP head function just before the closing head tag of your theme. Okay, so if this is the closing uh, tag or head tag of your theme, then just define it before uh, before this head tag, this WP head function. Why? Because uh, otherwise your theme can break many plugins which generally use of this hook to add elements to head such as style scripts and meta tags. So generally the plugins go ahead and add the um, you know their own styles scripts and meta tags uh, to the head tag which is why you should define uh, it just before the head tag ends this particular function WP head okay and the, this WP head is going to go ahead and call the do action and it will find if there are any uh, custom functions attached to this WP head hook then it's going to call the uh, that particular function at this point okay so let's go ahead and take an example of this um, let's just read a couple more things before we go ahead and take examples so WP head action hook is triggered within the head section as we discussed although this is theme independent so same thing we discussed in the previous video for the WP footer it's the same thing for WP head as well except that it uh, it is triggered within the head section and uh, inserts our scripts and data into the head section of the front end okay <clears throat> so it is widely supported it's one of the most essential hooks just like your wp uh, footer and this hook provides no parameters so as you can see there are no parameters next to this hook so your custom function should also not have any you use this hook by having your function echo output to the browser or by having it perform in the background tasks. Your function shouldn't return and shouldn't take any parameters as we discussed because it doesn't provide any. This hook is theme dependent which means that it is up to the author of each WordPress theme to include it. It may not be available on all themes so you should take this into account when using it. This hook is an action which means it primarily acts as an event trigger instead of a content filter so this is an action hook it is not a filter hook so it doesn't filter anything it just inserts your code there into the head section of on the front end uh, this is a semantic difference but it will help you remember what this hook does if you use it like this so let's take an example now <clears throat> the first example we're going to do an add action and we'll call our custom function which is including this style tag with these styles into the head section okay so I have written this custom function already I'm just going to uncomment that and what's going to happen is that when the script reaches the do action whenever you wherever you have defined the WP head into your theme okay so let's say if you had defined it here before the head section so this function is going to call the do action which will call the custom function hook to WP head hook and since it's hooked here it's going to call this custom function and add this style uh, element to the head section so let's go ahead and check it out if it does and sure enough it does 
So let's check it out where exactly it is. So as you can see, this is this style, the custom style applied by our custom function using the WP head hook into the head tag. Okay, let's take another example. Let's comment it out. So as per the second example, I'm going to increase the font so you can see it clearly. Again, I'm using the WP head hook. I'm using add action to hook uh, my custom function, hook JavaScript. And I'm using the script tag and I'm just doing an alert pages loading. So if you go over here, refresh the page, and sure enough, we get this alert. Now if you go to the head section, that's where the script tag should have been, and you can see, sure enough, it is there. Okay, cool. So if you like the video, please do share and subscribe, and see you in the next video.